Hello everyone, Steve from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena here. I just wanted to take a couple minutes to show you some new developments in the Retro Arena. First one is that we've switched to a different version of Emulation Station that was shown to me by Christian. The reason why I made this change has a lot to do with the scraper. And it's got 3D box art, 2D box art, uh, screenshots, just a mix of different stuff. Also it allows you to scrape videos which I felt was important mostly because we've been able to fix video snaps and video screensavers. Show you the snaps here. Also, we've not only added video playback, but now the buttons are working properly and everything is set up. So this is fast forward, rewind, so is this and this, but it's slower, or faster I should say. Pause, exit, that's a 720p video. Going higher than 720p doesn't result in very good performance, so it's not something I recommend doing. But 720p playback is good, as you can see. Also added a few more systems, and also a big thank you goes to Travis for updating the theme to add, you know, television to it, as well as uh, these systems have been added here. He added this to the theme for us because I got this system working. This is a new system as well or this one is, sorry, he's added this one and this one so we have all these included in the build now Drastic is working DOSBox is working for some games, all standalone's almost ready I'm working on Daphne too, I've got it to run but it can't print the screen so I gotta try to diagnose that also, one other feature that I mentioned before but I hadn't used very much so I didn't understand it quite yet um, <clears throat> that comes with this emulation station. I can set it up so that um, instead of just hard coding it to launch from only SNES 9X core, I can include all of the different N Super Nintendo cores and then when you would click on, I can't do it here because it's not Super Nintendo, but when you'd go to launch a ROM you would press start and then you would see an option in the em this, that pops up here says emulator settings and you click that and then you can tell it what core you want it to use to launch the game or it can even be set up to work with cores and emulators both I've only done it to Super Nintendo thus far because I've just started testing it but it does work so I will be doing it for more systems like obviously the Game Boys, Nintendo like regular NES and stuff like that Nintendo DS split screen is working again and much better than on OGA because of the bigger screen, obviously. This button here is the move this the stylus, I guess you'd call it. So yeah, we got video playback. We've added music to the theme as well. I haven't added uh, any tracks to the folder to have it show up on Emulation Station, but there's a category for VHS is videos, and then TV is for TV shows, obviously, movies, All right, movies, sorry, um, TV shows, we got movies for movies, TV for TV shows, and uh, music for music. I enabled the music folder to play both audio and video, so it could be used for music videos or just music music. Other than that, that's about it, we've added a few new systems, we got the video scrapes and all that working, Drastic's menu is working properly, as you can see, there's no messing around there. We got the 
video screensaver. Battery icon has changed as well. You can actually see how much power you have left now to real time, not by 25s. You can also see the level of the volume. And when it's charging, you can see a charging icon. So yeah, lots of new developments, lots of new stuff going on today. Uh, that's, I'll keep you guys updated as more happens as well. I'm, I'm really hoping I can get Daphne working, and I'm almost positive I can resolve DOSBox. I don't have high hopes for being able to get Cody going. However, as I said, we've been able to add MPV and a Python script to deal with controls. So we do at least have video and audio playback, so that's a definite bonus. It's a big step from where we were before. Netplay is working, RetroArch is 190. Um, I'm going to be working on adding some ports to the build as well, maybe like Super Mario War with Netplay. Uh, I was looking at maybe adding Doom 1 and 2, possibly, just stuff like that. I would say the build is probably 85% ready. Now it's just seeing if I can add a few more emulators, seeing if I can add a few more cores, and what kind of extra functionality and features I can get into the build. I'm going to see if I can find, this is all 2D box art, but some of the scrapes I have are 3D box art. Like, uh, you can hear my kitty, she wants attention, I'm going to go play with the cat after this. Uh, where the heck is CPS? Buried somewhere, far away. Ah, right, there it is. There we go, 3D box art. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care.